Back at 615, this is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. And for families with loved ones dealing with the progressive disease, it can be super difficult to watch them all the time. So there's now a monitoring system that's helping folks in Fort Bend County keep track of loved ones who are at risk of wandering. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to tell us about the Lifesaver Project. Yeah, so the project is a bracelet that a family can put on a loved one who has Alzheimer's, dementia, even autism, and at an increased risk of wandering off and getting lost, therefore getting hurt. You never want anything bad to happen to someone in that situation. But with caregivers balancing a million things throughout the day, this is taking one thing off for a family in Richmond. He remembers pretty much nothing. Dale Rivers has had Alzheimer's for eight years and his wife Pam has dedicated her life to taking care of him. I tell him every morning who I am, who he is, and we are the Rivers and that I love him and I get my kiss. Even though she has to remind him, he still shows signs of love and connection to her. He's laughing. Every day, his habits, his needs all become hers. So she worries, like in the past, that one minute not watching him and he could leave and get lost. I came back and he wasn't inside. It scared me. I was scared. This was before Project Lifesaver. Lifesaver Project is a wearable device for people with cognitive disorders. This is like a radio in your car. You tune it and then we tune it on. He says this device is better than a GPS tracker because it can see through walls and get a specific location instead of a general address. GPS will give you a kind of a circle but you still got to search that circle. Dale was the first in Fort Bend County to get one and now a bigger population are eligible. Those with autism, Down syndrome, traumatic brain injury and dementia. And the key thing is, is that on average we're able to find them and bring them home in about 30 minutes or less. So it's a lot faster and your chances of getting your loved one back home alive, uninjured, escalate dramatically. And Fort Bend has helped expand this program to Katy ISD and Katy Police, which means this is available in parts of Waller and Harris County, too. If you are interested in finding out if it's available to you, you can contact the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. Their phone number is up on your screen now, 281-341-9262. And I'll also link this program to, for you on clicktohouston.com. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of families will be interested I think in learning so. more. Yeah, especially since it can span a wide variety of cognitive disorders too. And, and you were saying that that specific device is so precise. Yeah, I mean, you know, I asked about Apple AirTags because we, we hear about like those devices like being put on kids now and stuff. Um, but he said that, you know, that depends on a signal and this wouldn't, this can read through like heavily wooded areas, walls, things like that. That's incredible. Very yeah. interesting.